This is every shot of an 11 handicappers round here at a Ryder Cup venue. We are at the Belfry Brabazon course. How are we going to fare today? I don't know. Let's get on to the first tee box and see how we do. Oh boy, I'm excited. Here we go. First hole is a 369 yard par four. Hold on. Sit. Wow, that has gone left, left, left. Right, so today is super exciting. We're actually out here for my mate Dan's birthday. So this should be a good round. Uh, have been informed that it is pick clean and place everywhere, including the rough today. So that's gonna make this slightly easier, but overall, still gonna be a challenging course. All right, sadly, we have not got any shot here. Not for me anyway. Maybe someone from the Ryder Cup team could make this. Big slinging draw around the trees, but I've just got a chip up about 100 yards here, so. Oh, as if it's hit the tree. Oh no. Right, thankfully we do actually have a shot here. About 125 into the middle of the green, that's all I'm aiming for. That could be really good. That's all over it. Be good. Yes! Come on. That'll settle the nerves. No drone today, guys. It's just me with the camera, but this still should be epic. Settled the nerves a little bit there after that shot. Let's get a bogey, get a two putt, get rolling onto the second. All right, 27 foot, the par. Oh my God, what? I literally, I tapped that. Wow, oh my God, like, I've, I can't understand what's going on here. Right. All right, three putts. What have we learned? These greens are fast as f Hole number two is a 321 yard par four. It's the second easiest on the course because it's not all that long, but there are a lot of bunkers around that green. All right, just gonna hit a five iron down this one. Just avoid those bunkers on the left. Well, oh, don't turn again. I should be short of the bunker. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. All right, coming out of the rough here. Um, got a nine iron, about 140 away. Need to aim it right because the wind is off the right, so. Oh, that's a bit chunky and left. I think that might be in a bunker, to be honest. We are not in a bunker, that's good news. Got a strange little lie here. It's got like sand all over. It's almost like the bunkers leaked out onto the, into the rough. Yeah, that's as good as I could have done from there. Oh my God, just stop rolling. My God, I have to tap it so much. So we're actually doing a full 18 stroke hole competition between the four of us. So we have to finish out everything anyway. Um, and I think that there's a fair few parts that are missing that should probably be dropping. Our first experience with the water here on this par five, it's 501 yards long and it's SI 13. Okay. First driver of the day. See if we can make it a good one, eh? Wind's so strong off the right behind us, this could go miles if I catch it. Oh no. Okay, sadly guys, um, my ball disappeared in amongst the trees, so can't go back to the tee box. Gonna have to hit here. This is my fourth shot, really penal, really unfortunate to be honest. Um, so yeah, we're still laying up here, so far away, so sad, but let's get a good one here. That's a good strike. I feel much better now. I don't feel too disappointed about losing that ball, to be honest. Like, these things do happen in golf. Ah, uh, you don't want that to happen on a round like this. You don't want that so early doors, but you know what? The golf ball doesn't care what you want. It's gonna be these times that it does happen. So we can just, you know, try and regather and recalibrate. I feel like I'm striking the ball all right. So yeah, it's not over yet. For our layup here, we've left ourselves 174 downwind. I think I'm going to hit, I think I'm going to hit seven iron. Yeah, I've bottled it. I'm going to hit eight. Um, I think there's a good chance I go out the back if I uh, hit a seven. So really we need this dancing. 
Oh, I've caught that so well. Be good. Be really good. Yeah. Come on. We're making up for the poor start. I'm hoping that I can find drone footage for you guys. Um, but if I haven't, I'm going to just try and show you some of the courses we go through. A lot of you will have seen some of the holes. If you go to your local range, you play top trace, you can actually play the Brabazon on the top tracer course. So you'll know a lot of the holes, especially number 10, where we should be able to have some real fun because we're going to do uh, our actual shot for the video. And then we'll also try and drive the green like Seve Ballesteros did. All right, we've got about 27 foot here for a bogey. Not really sure which way it's breaking after watching everyone's putts. Good weight. It's a f***ing crap, crap direction. Oh my God, I'm an absolute donut. That's an eight, no! Disasters on the green today, boys. Disaster on the green. Right, we need to pick this up. That was eight, that was a triple bogey. Not too bad considering we lost the ball off the tee. Just the putting woes are not very good right now. We're gonna need some to drop. Hole four is a 389 yard par four and it is SI3. I knew that I was about to do that because I thought you're about to top this. Yeah, no, I'm a bit of a head case sometimes on the tee box. I can sometimes think, oh, I'm about to top it and then just swing anyway. I just need to like, when that happens, step off and just reset because it never ends well. Always top it when I think that. Also, I think I'm letting the occasion get into my head, like playing a really nice course, obviously loads of history here. And so I'm letting the course own me. Uh, realistically, I just need to go out and play my game. You know, I can hit the shots that I need to hit. I just need to not be getting wrapped up in what's going on outside of that. Just gonna chip this one out over the bunker. I've got that in the backswing, so just gotta remember that. Oh my God, what was that? I'm having a stinker here, guys. All right. Just got to chip this eight out. Oh, that's good. I'll take that all day long. I mean, I'm not really sure what the play was there with that like eight iron backswing kind of thing. I kind of needed to advance the ball like 100 yards just so that I would have a shot in. I could have chipped out sideways, but it would have left me 240 in with water hazard in front of the green. So I guess I could have chipped out sideways and then I probably would have had to lay up anyway. So it hasn't really affected this on this one. Just had some unfortunate moments already in this first three or four holes. But you know, you know me, I love the back nine. And we've got unbelievable weather for today considering it's now March. Like it's very nice and dry and yeah, feels decent. Right, we've got a hundred in here. Got to really just make a good swing here. Where's that gone? Ben? Ben? I have no idea where it went, I couldn't see it. Oh, it's on the green. I thought it went straight right and I was gonna kill Ben, but it's actually landed right at the front of the green. I think once I get a one putt under my belt, that's it. We're, we're on it. So hopefully we get the one putt here. We've probably got about 10 foot, so get a one putt, we're golden. All right, got a 27 footer uphill here. Just gotta try and make sure we get it there. It's gonna break hard off the left, so. Yeah, I'll take that, pretty good from there. All right, cool, two part, we'll take that. <laughs> you gotta celebrate the little things, don't you? Hole oh, number five is 359 yard par four and it is SI11. Apparently, this softly softly approach is not working and neither is the go for it, so might as well have some fun and go for it, eh? That's more like it, that's what Ben wants. Ah, oh, snapped it left. Go over the tree. It's got to be all right. We've got 150 to a completely blind pin. I'm up on an absolute massive upslope. If I hit eight iron, it's probably not going to get there because it's going to go so high because of how I'm going to hit this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a seven. It'll come out a little bit lower, but probably just about get there, I think. We've got it. We're right on it. Come on, be good. Oh, oh, something good's happened, guys. Something good. All right, we have got a 33 footer for a birdie. It's outrageous, that.
That barely it didn't break, no, that it did not break. Oh, it is me. I have got a par. Stop the f bleeding. Hole number six is a dangerous one. 385 yards and it's SI5. Come round. Just a little bit. Oh my God. Am I really about to start taking like seven irons and six irons and stuff off the tee? and having to maybe play each par four as a three shot hole, potentially, because I think it's gonna end up paying dividends over trying to like muscle it through a hole, hit shots that maybe are a little bit risky. Thought that three wood was gonna be really good, but it just came out a little bit more right than I was hoping. Obviously I was trying to keep it right because there's water all up the left, but um, yeah, fingers crossed it's still up. Oh my God, it's a miracle. We're f***ing alive and only by about an inch. And we can't take on the flag. We're like 200 away water in front off a terrible lie so i'm going to be uh i'm going to be just chipping the seven out uh leave myself not too far in that'll do it that's better than any of the recovery shots we've played so far pin is back left it's 110 away winds off the right gonna hit 48 here pretty full not gonna go smash it though Can't win, push it left. Wow, it's, oh, it's spam back onto the green though, that's good. Take that. All right, we've got a mad one here. Um, it's got about 60 foot for par. Come on. Got to get up this ridge and then it's going to start going a little bit quicker on the other side, so. That could be good. Slow down now. Oh my God, just stop. For the love of God, what is wrong with you? It's going at the speed of a f***ing snail, but it's still just rolling. Please. You f***ing bastard! Oh, sorry. I mean, oh, that's almost, almost in. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's just the greens are killing us. Three putts galore. Like, <laughs> Oakley's over there. He's free. How many, how many holes are you free putt, Oaks? All aboard the struggle bus, um, another double bogey that takes us to 10 over through five holes, six holes, so it's looking good. Hole seven is our first par three of the day over water. It's SI15 because it's 156 yards long. Come round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might be interesting. We're right on the lip of the bunker there. All right, we haven't got the best the best of stances here. I'm only just on. I'm gonna lean forwards and just kind of like putt it. Just gotta give it enough to get there. Get out, I'm on the green. All right, we're on the green. I think that's all we could really hope for there. God, this has got a lot of break on it, this one. Really gotta pick a point and just try and roll it through it. Oh my God, I've tapped it. It's just stop for one time, one time, just stop. I free putted from about eight foot again. Like, if you want to see someone's soul literally being crushed like a can, well, just continue to watch this video because this green has got me by the balls. Hole number eight is the hardest on the course. It's a 409 yard par four. All right, just get a little bit, feel a little bit looser. This is definitely one of those holes where I shouldn't hit drive, but I just, I just I'm just going to have to now. I just don't know, I just got no confidence in anything else either. Keep it away from the water. That's going right. Right in the trees. Yep, hit a tree. If that one's disappeared as well, I'm probably just gonna walk off the golf course, guys. Right, we've got super fortunate here, guys. We've been kicked out just into the rough. Got a shot in, 165 yards. So you're gonna hit seven iron here. It's not enough, they caught it a little fat. It's gonna be bunker, I think. Or short, short's better than bunker, that's for sure. Now I have played a couple of courses like this in the past where the greens are super fast and pure. There's been a long winter of me hitting through puddles and stuff on greens, so this is taking a long time to adapt. I think there's definitely some nervousness there. We are super fortunate we didn't hit that any better because we are so close to going in the water hazard. All right, the real question is how do we get this close to the pin? I'm gonna to elect to go under these branches with a pitching wedge here. 
and just sort of like, just give it a little chip, really. Just get it over and get it running up. No, as if it hits that one tiny little... Yeah, so if you're wondering what the difference is between like what a championship Ryder Cup course and your local course is, the difference is like night and day. I mean, there's like 50 times more hazard. All the bunkers are so much better placed in general. The greens are lightning quick. It's just a much, much more difficult experience. Go in. No! Oh my God, it's lipped out. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> we're in for a five come on hole number nine is a 402 yard par four and it's si7 where is it oh, it's straight down the middle I've, I've hit a fairway no no it's miles blind i found a fairway embarrassingly before this round started i was asked what i would shoot i said 87 plus 15 i'm currently plus 13 so I've got to get around the remaining 10 holes in plus two. Sounds optimistic, but we could do it. Let's get to it. All right, pins at the front, 131 yards away. I think I'm gonna hit a nine iron. All right, well, what an approach shot this is. I'm so glad that I actually get to enjoy it from a fairway. Got water short right, so just don't wanna hit that. Gonna hit nine iron. I could be all over it. That is all over it. Oh my God, it's short. Okay, little chip here. Let's see if we can make this go in. Go on, roll up. It's not bad. I've made a one putt. F***ing hell, I cannot believe it. Look at that. This place is unbelievable. Three courses as well that you can play. So the damage is, as we round the turn, we are 13 over. It's our worst nine ever on the channel, but we are at the hardest course we've played on the channel. But you know what? We've done it plenty of times in the last couple of weeks where we started bad and then we've just got really good. I'm not disappointed with how I'm striking the ball at all today, which is usually my weakest area. It's putting. It's the putting that is so, so difficult. And I'm feeling a little bit more dialed after that one putt. If we can get, maybe let's say, let's say we get three, aiming for three one putts on the back nine, yeah, I think that we're gonna. I think we're gonna do much better. Of course, we've got a little bit of a bottleneck, so we sat down in the halfway hut. Gotta say, these sausage rolls are pretty epic. They are delicious. And then I've also got myself a little cappuccino with a shot of Bailey's in it. And for when things really get tough, the the monster. But I'm not gonna drink it all in one go because I don't wanna have the jitters over the putter because literally any jitter is gonna send the ball an extra thirty foot past the hole. And we are now coming up to the famous tenth. It's Seve's hole. The one where he drove the green, it's a par four. You'll have all seen it on top tray, so you'll know the one I'm talking about. Let's go and see if we can get one on the green. Now we are downwind today, so we can go for it, but I think in the interest of this video, I'm only gonna lay up, because I wanna score well, and I don't wanna go in the water. But we're also going to take a second tee shot so we can all attempt it, and that will go up on the Bandits TikTok page. So go and check out Absolute Bandits on TikTok, and go check out my stuff while you're on TikTok too and Instagram, and subscribe, why not, do it all. We've rounded the turn, we're on Sevi's hole, it's 284 yards long, it's a par four and it's SI8. Yeah, I like my swing today. I like my swing a lot today. Right, we've got 108 in here, no need to flirt with the water, we're just gonna play it to the right of the pin. That could be so good. Sit on it. Oh! Bailey's, Bailey's coffee is, oof, it's got me feeling different. I'm, I'm gonna make a birdie. I'm gonna make a birdie on Seve's hole. This is pretty good. This is pretty cool. Right, these putts, this couldn't be any better, this putt. This is literally like the sort of putt that you really wish you have for a birdie. Up the hill, not much break, maybe just slightly off the right. Please. No, how the f did I miss? Oh, pissing hell. That is sad. I would have loved that one to drop. Oh, number 11 is a 372 yard par four and it's SI 16. Come round. Right. 
Yeah, it's all right, it's fine. Right, okay, it's time to do something a little bit nuts here, guys. Um, so, trees, tree limbs can't go over them too close. We've got about 140 yards to the pin. I don't think I can even get like a 50, 58 anywhere close. So, five iron punch, open the face, try and like slice it round. So we're gonna aim out and if it ends up in the bunker on the left, absolutely fine. Oh, that's worked. It's running up on the green. Oh, I, hang on a sec, has that gone in the, oh, I might have just slid into the bunker. I thought that was perfect. Right, update is we are not in the bunker, but we are on the edge of it. So this is gonna be an interesting chop shot, I think, just to clip it out really. So there's the ball. I'm gonna go put you guys over here. Now trickle right. I mean, it is turning right, but way too late. I just came out so left. Ah, this is a relatively long putt for par. I think it's coming off the right. Not sure if I've got the right read though, but. Oh, it's got a chance. I've actually left one short today, guys. It's a miracle. For a bogey, not bad. Our second par three of the day over water. It is 179 yards long and it's SI six. One, three, eight to the pin. I'm going to take eight on because I'm too scared to take anything less. Oh my god, I'm going to have to get so lucky. Hit the rocks and go left. Alright, well I do get to unplug it, so... Do I get any relief from this? No, I just got to put it back down where it was. Uh, Replug it. How on earth can I play this shot? This is going to take my weight, right? hell for the content you know yep that'll do <laughs> almost fell in okay come on this is gonna break like absolutely mad now slow down now slow down now stop i mean at this point i'm starting to think this isn't even fun oh come on a two part Hole number 13 is a par 4. It's the easiest on the course at 350 yards long. Oh no. Hold on. That's going to go out of bounds, isn't it? Oh. No. Oh, so frustrating. I thought we were just getting back on with a bit of a hot streak. And then we put one out of bounds. And then we top the flipping reload we are literally 30 yards up the fairway thankfully past the red tee um, but we're now hitting our fourth shot this is a big hole big big score this one but there's nothing we can do about that now we just got to play the next shot as well as we can just don't find the bunker i beg you it's a good strike maybe i should just start hitting irons <laughs> It's really odd because I found a rhythm in my iron swings, but everything else is suffering, which is usually the other way around because my iron swings are usually trash and I just don't feel like I can hit the ball. But, but now it's getting off the tee is the real issue, which isn't something I usually suffer with. I'm gonna take a seven. Here we go. That's pretty good. I'll tell you that, it'd just be good length. Yep. Right, 36 foot for a double bogey. Mm. Just gonna keep rolling. <laughs> I could make a quad quite easily. Yes. That's strong that is, that's a strong triple bogey. Should I fist bump it? Fist bump, fist bump. Go on, give me a fist bump for the triple. Bosh. Not much to say about this par three. It's 166 yards long, it's hole 14, and it's SI 14. Right, clubbing up here dangerously. If I catch this really well, I'm in the bunker at the back, but you know what. That could be really good. Yep, we're on. I think I'm gonna pad it about 10 foot. You know how? Don't do me like that. How is that? Oh my God, I'm gonna make, I'm making, I'm making four putts. Come on, it's time to stop the bleeding. 
Yes, it's a two part. Come on. Yes. All right, that was big. We made a par. Didn't look like we were going to do it. We've got four holes left. Our goal is to go one over through the four remaining holes. I know it's crazy, but I'm feel, I feel good. I know, I know I just made a triple, but I feel good. I feel good about my game right now. Unbelievably, it's only our second par five of the day, despite a lot of the par fours feeling like par fives. It's the second hardest on the course and it's 488 yards long. Absolutely munch that. Yeah, munch that. Very happy. Yeah. yeah. All right, we have got 256 yards in. I didn't come here to lay up. Three woods coming out. Coming in. Got to turn a lot more than that, though. Never going to make it round. Short of the bunker, hopefully. Unsure. I found my ball. It was plugged. We've lifted it. We've cleaned it. And now we have 41 yards to the pin here. Bounce left. Oh, it's pin high, but it just came out so right. It's about 24 foot for birdie. Be lovely to think we can make this one. That's actually a chance. Oh my God. Very nice. All right, we'll take the five. SI 12, this one, it's hole number 16. It's the 371 yard par four. Should be good. Unless it went in the bunker, I can't really tell though. All right, we got 95 yards in here. Just gonna hit a really solid gap wedge here. That could be really good. We're on. 21 footer for birdie. You know, rules, if I make this putt, you gotta drop me a follow. Turn then. Stop then. Just do something other than keep on rolling forever. Yes, come on, we'll take that. Ah, oh, happy days. We're almost there, hole number 17. It's a par five, it's SI 10 and it's 530 yards. That should be all right, hopefully. Course does look a lot different on the simulator to when you're actually standing on the actual fairways and on the tee boxes, but it is a really good representation of what the holes are like. So, yeah, excitingly, we've got a big project being built at the moment. So, I'm currently undergoing a renovation on my house, and in the house, we're having a new garage put in, and there's going to be a swing studio in there. And I am going to be bringing live streams from the simulator room. So, let me know if you want to see that, and I can bring that onto YouTube, maybe Twitch. Maybe even kick if they'll pay me. <laughs> Not likely. But yeah, let me know if you like that idea, guys. I think I might have clipped a tree. Uh, it's not where I was expecting, which is sad. Um, but we have located it, which is the main thing, isn't it? Okay, the play here is just to hit an eight iron, just uh, straight back out into the fairway. Um, it's all we've got, really. So um, it should leave us about 160 in. Oh, f off did i pull that what is that straight behind the tree F i do stop is it in in a bunker it's, i mean got about 45 yards to the pin here this is going to be uh something else i'm not going to lie there you go look at that that's sick take that all day long from there what a par this could be. 24 foot for a par. Can't just don't make it a nasty one for three parts. Lag it up nice and close. There's a chance. Stay up! Oh my god. Oh, I pulled it so. F oh, that's such a bad double. Just no need for that. All right, it's time for the round recap. How do we feel we've played? Well, I mean, the score is pretty atrocious as you'll see however i think there are a lot of positives to take away from this number one my iron striking today has been so much better than any other video i'd say i was just saying to oakley actually this is such a weird thing to say i would say this is probably one of the best rounds i've played this year like in terms of iron striking if you took out all the three putts because at a normal course which i'm more used to playing where the greens aren't quite this quick 
I would probably only make maybe one or two three putts accompanied with a bunch of one putts where I've only made I think what, one one putt today maybe two and then I've had two driving penalties one which went out of bounds and then we also had the one that hit the trees and disappeared that I had to take a penalty for. So I think there's a lot of positives. I know it's a weird thing to say, but I think my short game's been pretty good. So I'm actually walking away relatively happy with how I've played, which you, which you might think is absolutely crazy, considering it's the worst score that we've put up in Canberra so far this year. And to finish it off, a very dangerous par four. You drive it over the water in front of you and dog leg round to the left over another body of water to get up to the raised green. And it's SI4, 418 yards. That's the one. No, it's too far left. Does that clip the tree? Okay, so unsure if this one's actually dry. I thought I saw it hit the land, but there's a chance it rolled back in. So I'm gonna go up there, have a look, potentially have to drop on the spot that it went back into the water on. Sadly, my ball is in the drink. Uh, I've dropped it a little bit over because there's blue markers to say that it's GUR up this side. Um, I'm going to hit a hybrid into this. It's about 190 yards, but we've got wind and everything going on. So just going to take a really smooth one. And that is in the water as well. Wow. I'm going to have to hit another one from up there. Pretty sad end, sad end to the round here. This is my fifth shot. So let's see if we can get it up there. Wow. That is only just going to get over the water. Scamper up. I mean, we're on the green. Worst shot of the day, but it's got a good result. I've got to say, what a course this is. Unbelievable. If you get an opportunity, you should get yourself down here. Even in March, with all the rain that we've been having, it's still just absolutely spectacular. Great day, despite the score. Gives me, a, gives me more appreciation for like Rick Shields, who plays, obviously, like the most difficult courses. And to still be shooting, you know, like five, six, seven over, it's bloody impressive. All right, 45 foot for a double bogey. Slow down. Okay, keep rolling. Wow, that is going to be a tester, that one. Oh my God. I could have blown on it, it would have <laughs> gone past the hole. <laughs> Thank God it's not a four putt. That might have actually crushed my soul there if that had been a four putt. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Happy birthday to Dan. And if you want to see another video from me, just click right here.